It is yet another dark day for Nollywood and Nigeria as a whole as we lost another beloved actor to the cold end of death. Junior Pope was a beloved father, husband and a son who was lost to the cold ends of death due to recklessness and ignorance. And today on Top Niger Life, I will be talking about everything leading to his death and how it happened. But before we talk about that, I will be giving you a brief summary into the life of Junior Pope, his career and the kind of life he lived. John Paul Odunwodo, popularly known as Junior Pope, is a Nollywood actor, model and a philanthropist. He was born on the 17th of May 1984 in Bamenda, Cameroon to Mr. and Mrs. Luke Odunwodo. The actor was 39 years old and he hailed from Uke'e tribe of Enugu state in the southern part of Nigeria. But he grew up in Cameroon and he completed both his primary and secondary school education in Cameroon before relocating to Nigeria. After he graduated from the University of Nigeria in Enugu State with a degree in accountancy, then in 2006, he joined Nollywood and acted in many movies. He always played the role of guard and servant. In 2007, he rose to fame after acting in a blockbuster movie called Secret Adventure, which brought him to limelight. He has acted in over 100 movies including Secret Adventure, Mad Sex, Bitter Generation and Vengeance of Bullet. He won the award Nollywood Most Promising Actor in Nigeria at the Entertainment Factory Award. On the 26th of July 2014, Junior Pope got married to Jennifer Awele Opono and the couples enjoyed their years of marriage with beautiful kids before this unfortunate event happened. And remember, Junior Pope was a Christian by faith. It started like a wild speculation but it confirmed that Nollywood actor Junior Pope was drowned while attempting to cross a river. The 39-year-old actor who was later rescued after two hours of being inside water succumbed to the icy hand of death. Junior Pope posted a video online while trying to cross the river in a boat going to shoot a movie not knowing that would be his last video on planet Earth. He posted the video with the caption, See me lamenting. The risk we take to entertain you, crossing River Niger yesterday with no live jacket. Now wow, who does that? At Adam Maluke production, Junior Pope shared another video jokingly warned the boat driver about his speed. He said he is the only child of his parent and he has three children and he wished to train them himself. The producer responsible for the shoot is a lady called Adam Maluke. She is an actress and a producer. Unfortunately, on their way back from the movie location, Junior Pope and some other members of the production team were on board as well. They were 12 in numbers. They all fell inside the water when the boat capsized. Some of them survived while some of them lost their lives. This is a very shocking and sad news for Nollywood. You can tell Junior Pope was really scared when he was on the boat without life jacket because how in God's name would you be crossing River Niger without a life jacket, even at a high speed? I guess it's the speed that led to the disaster. According to an eyewitness, the captain was on a high speed and did not see another boat coming. Unfortunately, the two boats hit each other and tumbled and all the passengers fell into the water. According to the boat driver, one of the actors have been ringing around the river which was an abomination on that particular day because in that village it's against their rule to ring bell on market day which was on that particular day he was warned they were all told to do some right at the abelis place but junior pop and some production teammates refused to do anything of sort as they claimed they were christians they were all inside the water for some time because there were no divers around that place it took them two hours to get Junior Pope out of the water while some had been rescued. Some passengers have drowned and they could not get them out. And guess what? All this happened in the presence of Junior Pope's wife, Jennifer. She was really in tears as she watched how they brought out her husband out of the water. Very sad. Junior Pope was not brought out dead because they noticed he was still alive and he was taken to an abalist at the river bank to perform some spiritual rites over him, which we all saw in the video while he was sitting up and a person was fanning him. Even the abalist suggested that he should be taken to the hospital for some reasons. 
Some people insisted that the abolish should perform some spiritual rites over him. It was after this moment that he was then transferred to the hospital to receive oxygen and that was where he was confirmed dead. Can we say that Junior Pope's death was due to negligence? Because taking Junior Pope to the hospital was the last thing they did instead of being the first. No first aid, nothing was given to the guy to save his life. This is really another terrible disaster for Nollywood because the number of people we've lost within this first quarter of the year is really alarming. They really need to do something about the well-being and safety of these actors and actresses. The disaster could easily been avoided if there were measures put in place as it should be. We don't know when this thing happened and nobody planned for this disaster. But then we all need to be careful. May Almighty continue to protect us. The most painful thing about this Junior Pope's death is that he just welcomed a bouncing baby boy with his wife alongside with two other boys making three children and his wife is being hospitalized as we speak. How is she going to take care of three children in this time of Nigeria? So this is all you need to know about the late Nollywood actor as more details of his death unfold, we promise to keep sharing the update here on this platform. This is really tragic moment for Nollywood and his fans. May his beautiful soul continue to rest in peace. See you next time and do not forget once again, this is Top Niger Life.